Hello, you lovely people. So I'm back at it again, another video. Uh, it's been a few weeks since my last one, so apologies. I've had an eventful few weeks. Uh, I've been pretty busy, haven't been able to do my Sunday sundries either, so I'm a bit disappointed by that. But, you know, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. I think I'm gonna start it all up again soon. I mean, I'm posting this video, so here we are. Um, great news though, I've been offered a new job. Um, still as a management accountant, bit more responsibility, that sort of stuff um, should uh, set me on good steed to evolve my career a bit further. So all of this um, SEMA seems to be paying off for me. So yeah, great. I've got, uh, I've done the E1 test, I've passed that. I've started my P1, which is the management account section. So I downloaded or um, I went onto the SEMA study website and I read through all of the content there for P1. So I've gone through the book already effectively, cover to cover um, with the online content. Um, and now I'm ready to read through the actual textbook itself as opposed to the online version. Um, the textbook is more comprehensive, will have um, more questions. Um, and so I thought I'd actually spend the time doing each of those questions and really solidifying my knowledge so that it gives me a good chance of passing my exam. So here I am, I'm gonna um, try and download that textbook. The last video I did, I said that um, I only had the study resource, the online study resource, um, but now I should be able to download the textbook because you have to wait like seven working days. In fact, I actually had to send off an email in order to um, chase up my textbook because it, or ebook because it hadn't been delivered to me yet. Um, but I have since received it. So I'm gonna try and set that up now. So this video may be a little bit choppy uh, as I cut some bits out to try and make it a little bit smoother, but bear with. I'll talk through the process. I might have it as a long video, um, but we'll see. So I'm gonna open up my mail and just like before, I'm gonna have all of this grayed out. Um, so it will be ebook, I think I need to have a look for. Okay, there is my email. So I've got to download the ebook onto my main computer and then access the download from other linked devices that I may have. So what I'm gonna do here is just jump into my emails, come over here to ebooks. Uh, open Adobe, uh, Adobe Digital Editions, Adobe Digital Editions 4.5, look, I do have it. Okay, great. So I have SEMA E1 exam practice, SEMA E1 study text, getting started with Adobe. So I want to download my new book. So once you have the ebook reader software on your computer, open the program. The first time you open the program, ADE will ask you to authorize your computer. The best way to do this is to create an Adobe ID linking the book with your ID. If you later open the book on another computer, you can simply supply the same ID to open the book. Click the create an Adobe ID link. After creating the ID, on the Adobe website, you can close the browser window, return to ADE, and enter the newly created Adobe ID. Please start your ebook download. Click here. Oh, so I think all I need to do is click here to start my ebook download <laughs> within the body of the email. This opens up my link. email address and then if I put in one of my passwords oh there we go your computer has been authorized okay so now it's downloading the digital editions content nice look at that management accounting 
Operational level P1. Oh, cool. One of 279 pages. And yes, I will be reading this cover to cover. And doing all of the assignments in here. Because I'm a nerd. Love it. All right, great. Let's come out of that. So I've got my study text. Nice. Now I also need um, excuse me. I also need my mock exam. So that's what I'm going to download now. Operational level, subject P1, management accounting, exam practice kit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Now, is this on my blue fire reader? That's my next question. How do I get it onto here? Email. You click on the email, you have your link here, step three, download the link, click download. This screen that pops up is completely misleading. What you want to do is click on this little down arrow at the top next to your URL bar. Then I've got my URL link up here. If I hit that, boom, there we go. Now we've got my SEMA. P1 exam practice kit 2021 and then I've got my exam P1 sorry my SEMA P1 study text 2021 so there we go now I can start to study in peace and this is on my blue fire so I can just prove that by getting rid of all of this going into blue fire reader boom it's all there can turn it this way boom it's all there nice and so what I like about this so I can just jump in and now I can start working through each of uh, these units which is good lovely so that was a really challenging video. It took me half an hour. I'm gonna cut that right down. So the steps to follow when you're downloading your ebook are make sure you've got your email with your ebook on it. You're gonna to wanna to download Adobe Digital Editions Reader. And then you need to set up an account with them and authorize your device. Once you've done that, if you click on the link within your email to open up your ebook, it will open up into the Adobe Digital Editions Reader. And then if you want to read those ebooks on say an iPad, then you need to download Blue Fire Reader, which is a different app, it costs about four pounds. And then just be careful when you are trying to open it into the Blue Fire Reader. Um, make sure that when you're in Safari, after having clicked on the link, you hit the Downloads button. And it should pop up with the actual download. And click on that download itself. And then that download should open up within the Blue Fire Reader app. And you should be good to go. So here we are. Um, wish me luck with uh, my studying and I'll do another video when I come across some cool content that I want to share. Until then, bye-bye.